welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So the last time um, or the last video I did was talking about the different sites and um, when I posted those videos I got questions on um, how to do your pricing and about pricing so I guess I'll um, talk about that. So um, go take a look at all my other videos guys if you have any questions about camming or about the sites or about anything that I've talked about previous, um, just leave me a comment. Um, I also have my um, business email that you can contact me and I check it daily. So if you guys have any questions or whatnot or want me to do a video on something, let me know. Um, so yeah, prices. Um, I'll just start off with if you're new, if you never canned, um, I looked from, uh, I went to a site, so I was kind of doing my research from MSC, and I would take like the top front to middle row and, and kind of see what they were charging for like um, flashes and teases and what their um, kind of rate was. And I kind of based mine at, like kind of in the middle when I started, because um, you don't want to price yourself too low and you don't want to price yourself too high. So you want to be like in a good little comfort spot. Um, and I stuck with that for a while, I think maybe like a year I stuck with those prices and then maybe six months, yeah, six months. And then I, I raised it, um, like 50 credits and like up a little bit, a little bit higher, um, after a year, after you start getting your clientele, then you can kind of gauge like, okay, I'm a little too low now and then go from there. And that's how I changed my prices. Let's say, um, Spank, so to spank or pedal. Uh, I think it started off with like 50 credits when I was new for like three spanks or something like that. And then as I got on, now it's 90 credits for three, um, and so on. And then like a tata -ta flash, I think I started off 50 credits and now I'm at 100. So, um, and some people if charge um, 110, 200, 500. So it's all kind of where you think your placement is, is and what you think you're worth. Know your worth, you know, don't price yourself too low, like 10 credits, you know, and for something, you know, it's your body, you know, your worth, know you, your worth, whatever you're set, your prices. Don't let people come into your room. And I say this, like, I am not, you're not at fucking Goodwill. We're not a freaking garage sale bargain bin here. Okay. These are my prices. If you don't pay the prices, then you don't get the, you got to pay to play. That's what I say. You got to pay to play. Um, so don't let them do you down on your prices link. Oh, I only have 60 credits. No, my price is a hundred. So, um, you can look on my tip menu if there's something else, if you want to, just tip me to support me if there's a contest going on or whatever it may be the case may be that day you know tip to support them or if you have a tip toy on um, my tip toys on we can have fun that way so don't bargain your prices with anyone I will say that and then um, when it comes to rates like private rates usually the site has like um I'll just take, I'll go through MFC and Flirt because those are two sites I, I know a lot about in Bungo. Um, so I know with MFC, they have set rates. So um, no matter your rank on this site, this could be different now. I don't know if maybe you talk to the site and you've been on there and you're a pretty popular model, maybe you can change the rate. I'm not sure, but I know for their privates, they have set rates. Um, and that's fine when starting out, you don't have to worry about your private rate. When you get, um, a clientele and you become busy and you don't, maybe you don't want to do, do privates as much, or that's not your thing. I do see a lot of the girls saying before a private, you have to tip 200 credits or 500 credits, and then we can go private. So you can do it that way too, with those sites. Um, with flirt is a little different. Depending on your ranking on this site, um, they have different like credit levels, like your ranking of how much you made. So when you're new, you're kind of given these set prices. You have like a little bit of a range, but it's pretty much set for you. And then once you move up in the credit levels, then you have a little bit more free range to play with the credit levels. But then once you hit top tier, they do max out that you can't um, go past like, I think it's 150 credits per minute in private. Um, and then Bungo is, is the kind of the same way as Flirt. Um, you can set your own prices, um, but they give you like from, I think the lowest is 60 credits and then the highest is like 
150, 200, I think. So you do have room to play. So I would say if you're new, start off on the low side, not too low, don't price yourself too low, know your worth. And then after a few months, if you're like getting too busy and you're getting so many privates and you can't keep up, then you're, t you know, your, your prices are a little too cheap and start like, just like tweaking it a little bit. That's how I would go with prices um, and how to judge your tip menu. Make sure you have a tip menu um, and go from there. And then um, our site does webinars. And what I've been learning too is like, I'm a creature of habit and I don't like change. And it's very hard for me to change up like how I sit, how I cam, how I interact. And I think um, the best thing too, if maybe you're going through a little bit of a, let's say stagnant phase or you need to change something up, don't be afraid to like try to push for more privates or try to um, on flirt. I know we have where they have party chats or where they have to tip a certain amount like and then a show starts, right? So try to utilize the different things on the site, the different like um, um, different, what do I want to say? Different, um, lost my train of thought. I have so much going through my head right now. <laughs> the different um, options on the site. Like I said, Flirt has party chats. They have group chats. They have private. They have Voyager. They have just so many things. And kind of like when you're going through that, maybe change it up a little bit or um, change how you're sitting or change your interactions if maybe you're not getting the um, the action um, that you need could be something to look into. Um, and then again, I just want to reiterate, like, don't pay to play. If they're wasting your time too, and it's like they're chit-chatting and they haven't supported you in any way in your stream, it's like, this is your job. Don't be afraid to be like, um, take me private if you want to talk more about this, or they start getting overly sexy and they're not they haven't tipped you anything it's like okay keep it moving you know and don't be afraid to do that i know i have gotten guilty we're like um chit chatting with somebody and it's like okay you know i've been on here for so many hours and um you prioritize somebody and it's like i'm trying to make my money i want to be nice but it's like okay like you know just be like we could go private if you want to chit chat or um you know, options like that to kind of see where that conversation is going. So moral of the story of this whole video is um, kind of um, to get an idea where to price yourself with your tip menu, if that's what you're having an issue with, is look at the girls on the top to middle of the page and, um, and, and know your style. Like, do you want to be the fetish girl? Do you want to be the glamour girl? Do you want to be the sexy tease? Do you want to be the shy neck girl next door? And then kind of see what those girls are doing, like um, kind of like the route you want to go. And then see what her prices are and then just kind of, that's how I did, kind of mold from there. And then, and you'll know. And then once you kind of, like I say, if you're really new, after a few months, um, you'll get a feel like, wow, I'm too cheap. I'm getting like so many privates like this then just up your prices just a little bit and see if that doesn't help and then you'll make more money and it's just a win-win situation. Um, what else? Um, and also on Flirt, they do have an offer an offer button. Um, I don't use that. I set my rates and uh, that's it. If you have a customer that's pretty loyal and um, you wanna give him a treatment because it's his birthday or you're fairly generous, there is options where you can give them like a an offer code and for him only and then give them like so many minutes in private for free. So you can do that option too. There's so many options on Flirt. Flirt is a really great site. Um, I can't say enough about that site. Um, I also have a link um, in all my links down there if you wanna sign up to become a model, if you need any help um, signing up or navigating that site, let me know. I think it's a great site. Um, I just actually got off a meeting. They do webinars every every other Thursday, which are really great. Um, they offer a modeling coaching over there too. Um, I have not utilized that, but I'm thinking about doing it just because I love 
camming and I love getting all the information I can and that's why I'm so passionate about doing this YouTube channel for the cam model community because I feel like there's just not enough out there for us than even um um, SW workers. I don't think there's like a big enough community out there. I do see a lot of the stripper vlogs and all that, but you don't see a lot um, with the camming world. Um, and even if you do OF, I will make some videos on OF. So if you guys have any questions, I am a model with a little bit of following. I don't have a huge following. Um, I don't do OF full time. It's my side hustle and it's also a way for people to contact me. So um, I use it as if they want to chit chat with me and you want to send me emails all the time, sign up to my OF. I direct them there to make the money. Um, so if you guys want to know more about OF, about somebody that has, I think like across the board, I have like 30, 50,000 followers on like all my platforms. I think it's like average of 34. I think Instagram, I just hit 60. Hopefully I'll hit a, a hundred thousand soon. Um, I never utilize TikTok. I know I need to, but I just can't get into TikTok. I don't know. I just can't. I don't know. I just, not my thing, maybe because I am older and <laughs> I just, I can't get into it very much, but I will say I bought a lot of stuff because of TikTok ads. So, but to post on there, I just don't really, um, I love Twitter for the SW workers. I do have videos on social media and side hustles. Like I said, I know this is about pricing. I'm, I'm going on a tangent. Um, but if you guys have any questions or want me to do videos, um, I want to make this a community for SW workers. Um, I'm also going to be doing, I'm on a health journey. Um, and I will be talking about this on my next video too. Sorry about the noise. Um, my dad uses a walker. I take care of my father. So sometimes you may hear some, some noises when I'm trying to film a video and that's just trying to find time to film. So, um, anyways, um, I am doing, a, I'll probably do a series on like health and fitness because I think that's important when camming and sleep and taking care of yourself. And for, um, two years now, I wasn't putting myself first and I've talked about my issues with PMDD and I'll give you an update on that of what I've been doing guys for that. Um, and what I found has helped. Um, I think I'm on month three now of taking some vitamins that have helped me. I'll do a video on that. I want to do more health stuff in, in relation to camming and just in my everyday life of getting in the best shape of my life um, by my birthday in October and in November. My cam company does a summit every year and they run a huge contest in June and July for us to either win a spot or win, I think it's like airfare money, I'll know more next week um, because I am going this year. I am going this year. I wanna meet the flirt team and the other models. I always enjoy going to ADN with um, MFC and I have yet to do anything with the flirt company. So I'm gonna be working my ASS off in June and July. Um, so yeah, so we're on a, fitness journey, a cam journey. Um, so maybe I'll do some more videos on, I'm going to be camming a tremendous amount in June and July. I'm going to be hitting goals that I never had hourly. Um, hopefully some money goals that I've never hit. Um, some, some lifestyle changes I've never done. So yeah. So follow me on this journey. Like I said, I'm not going to do all cam stuff. If you guys have any questions on OnlyFans, health, um, I love fitness. I absolutely love fitness. So if you guys have any questions, I am not licensed or trained in anything as of now, but I am thinking about, um, doing the personal training. I have the, all the books and everything. I was going to do it before the pandemic and then I just never did. Um, so I might look back into doing uh, personal training just like personally, cause I personally, I, I won't do anything with a career rise. I just love it for myself and the knowledge. So yeah, so we're going to be a little bit of everything on this channel. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, um, let me know. I absolutely love YouTube. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. So excited. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, and yeah, so keep liking, commenting, questions, my emails there. Um, my two websites that I do work for, um, are all of my links. If you guys want to sign up, if you have any questions, if you want to know how to navigate the website, let me know if you need help, email me. Um, I check my emails every day, twice a day in the morning and before I go to bed. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. And I hope I answered some of your questions and good luck on your can journeys.